Hello everyone, you are welcome. Today we have a very interesting algebra math problem which is b times b times b minus b times b is equal to 18. So here we will try to find out the value of b and all possible solutions of this algebra math problem. So let's start our solution. Now to get to the left hand side here is b is 3 times. So therefore we can write this as this is simply b cube minus there is b 2 times this will become b square. And here we will take this 18 to the left hand side. So this will become negative 18 is equal to 0. Next we can write this 18a. This is b cube minus b square minus 18 can be written as 27 minus 9 is equal to 0. And here we will apply this negative sign inside the parenthesis. So this will become this is simply b cube minus b square. This will become minus 27 negative time negative is positive 9 is equal to 0 so next we can write these two constant numbers as this is b cube minus b square 27 is same as 3 cube plus 9 is same as 3 square is equal to 0 let us combine the cubic terms and squaring terms so this left hand side will become this will become this is b cube minus 3 cube and this is negative b square plus 3 square is equal to 0. So next we can write this left hand side as this is b cube minus 3 cube. We will take our negative sign common from these two expressions. So this will become negative times this will become b square minus 3 square is equal to 0. Here in these two terms, we will use two different algebraic identities a cube minus b cube and a square minus b square. So, here in the first term, we will use this one algebraic identity a cube minus b cube, that is a minus b times a square plus a times b plus b square. And then here in the second term, we will use this one algebraic identity a square minus b square that is equal to a minus b times a plus b using this cubic identity here this first term will become this will become this is simply b minus 3 times b square plus 3b plus 3 square that is 9 minus and this will become this is b minus 3 times b plus 3 is equal to 0. We'll look at to both the terms here and both the terms this b minus 3 is common. So we'll take out this b minus 3 common. So this equation will become taking b minus 3 common. This will become b square plus 3b plus 9 and this will become negative time this expression. So this will become negative b negative 3 is equal to 0. Now let's further simplify this one expression. So this will become this is simply b minus 3 times this is b square plus 3b and this is sorry 3b minus b is simply 2b. So this will become 2b and 9 minus 3 is simply plus 6 is equal to 0. We have the product of these two expression is 0. So here either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0. So from here we will get b minus 3 is equal to 0 or b square plus 2b plus 6 is equal to 0. Now first we will solve this one equation so this will become b is equal to 3. So this is the first real value of b which is 3. Now we will try to solve this one quadratic equation for the other two values of b. So here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method or by completing square. So here we will use the quadratic formula to find out the roots of this quadratic equation. So here we have the value of a is 1, the value of b is 2 and the value of c is 6. So therefore the quadratic formula will become b is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. And substitute the values of abc from here so therefore the value of b will become b is equal to this is negative b so b is 2 
plus minus square root of b square b is 2 so it become 2 square minus 4 a is 1 and c is 6 divided by 2 a a value of a is 1 so further this will become this is minus 2 plus minus square root of 2 square is simply 4 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 6 divided by 2 and there is 4 common inside the square root so we'll take out common so this will become b is equal to this is minus 2 plus minus this will become square root of this is taking 4 common so this will become 1 minus 6 divided by 2 so for this will become this is minus 2 plus minus square root of this will become square root of 4 times 1 minus 6 is simply minus 5 but we can write minus 5 as 5 times negative 1 divided by 2 so further this will become this is b is equal to minus 2 plus minus this will become square root of 4 square root of 4 is simply 2 times square root of 5 and square root of negative 1 is a complex identity i divided by 2 so next we can write this as this will become minus 2 divided by 2 plus minus 2 times square root of 5 i divided by 2 and this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled this 2 and this 2 will be cancelled so the final value of b will become b is equal to this will become negative 1 plus minus square root of 5 i so here we have two complex values of b so finally here we have three possible solutions one is real that is three and two are complex so therefore we can write we have three possible solutions let us suppose b1 is equal to 3 and b2 is equal to that is minus 1 plus square root of 5 i and b3 is equal to minus 1 minus square root of 5 i so finally we here we have these three possible solutions in this interesting algebra math problem where one is real and the two are complex and last don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math solutions thanks for watching